Hello viewers, my name is Florence Maina, welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. Today I want to title my message as Rescue Me Lord. In the world we are living in, we know there is bad news all over, there is violence all over, as we send our children to school. Most of the time we'll hear in the news, there was this child who was going to school and was abducted. You hear there is a war all over. You open the news and you hear somebody was walking in a shop and was shot dead. You Then you hear in the news there is somebody who is walking to houses of people and when they are fully armed and they are taking up everything. You hear there are hurricanes. You hear all these things from all over. What do you do at such a time? At such a time, I want to tell you because we have no control over these things. We can join the psalmist who said in Psalms 140 verse 1, Rescue me, Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent. As simple as such a psalm. We involve God where we are not able to. As you send your children to school, to that school bus, what can you do? You can only cover them with a cover of prayer as they are away. As your teenager starts to drive, you know that is always a scary moment. I remember the time when my children started driving. You'd hear 911 and you could hear, my goodness, you had start, your heart start beating fast. What do you do? Because you have to drive anything. All you can do is just commit them to the Lord. What you don't have control? Committed to the one who is able, who does not sleep 24-7. Our God, our Jehovah, our Nisi who fights our battles. Oh, in our businesses, you fight, you started a business and it was the right fit for you. And after years of success, all of a sudden things have turned the other way around. What do you do? Are you going to change the business? Stay there, involve the Lord. And he'll make your business uh, pro pro prosper. Even as he has said, you'll be blessed as you go out and as you come in. And he shall bless the work of your hand. But you have to commit him to, to commit yourself to him. You have to commit your everything to him. Because he's the Lord who cares about you. In our marriages, we hear every now and then there is divorce, there is separation. What is the solution? The solution is on that divorce paper. We have to realize that beyond being married with that marriage certificate, we have been joined together by the Lord who says he hates divorce. He'll protect you. Let us continue to cover our marriages with the blood of Jesus. In our places of work as we go, you are threatened by various things. What do you do? You can only cover yourself with, and join the psalmist who said, Rescue me, Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent. There is violence all over, but God will take care of us. As teenagers, you are surrounded by, you know, peer, peer pressure. You don't want to do this. But because your friends are threatening you, if you don't do this, you are going to do this. Start the farm and involve the Lord. And you'll be able to say, like David did, said in Psalms 119, that how can a young man keep his ways pure? He can do it by hiding the word of God in his heart. So may the Lord bless you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, help us in this world that is full of storms, that is full of threats, that we can involve you and we can join the psalmist to say, rescue me, O God. Rescue us, O Lord. And for those who have not trusted you, may they open their hearts to you to know that, Lord, you are in need of their hearts to save them. We thank you. We bless you. Guide us and direct us as we move out and come in. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you. Again, our text of reference today was Psalms 140, verse 1. Let us continue to share this message so that we can encourage many in these last days. Thank you.